uh, preseason practices. Coaches, um, coaches mentioned defense. It feels like they'll kind of reveal the scores. Some of these offsets it's exciting to get points and stuff. But defensively, where do you guys need to make the biggest strides, or where can you guys make the biggest strides for the season? Um, I feel like it's um, it's a defense is a it's a team wise, but I feel. Individually, we can all get better in individual things or remembering the principles that the coaches have put in for us to, to do defensively. Um, we've seen, we've had spurts in games or scrimmages and practices where it's been good, but we haven't really put it all together yet. So I feel like that's the thing, is just being consistent about it. Is there something in particular, it, ball pressure, is it help side? Is it you know, creating turnover? Is there something defensive rebound? Is there something in particular that you're, you're feeling like, hey, we've got we to gotta be better to play here? Uh, I would, say, I would say it would be like making people feel us. So ball pressure, hands, um, communicating, talking on defense. I would say those are the big things um, that we can do just to not have people be comfortable running their offense. Coach mentioned that you guys have a lot of experienced players, but not a lot of experiences together. Is there a way to essentially speed that up? Did you guys do some extra things this offseason? Um, you know, again, once games happen and, and more time, obviously help with that. Is there anything else that kind of helps with that? I would just say talking to each other, communicating with each other, which is we've done a, a great job of it. So I feel like that's the easiest way you can make up for a lack of something. It's just by knowing your teammates very well and knowing like everything about them, knowing the spots on the court that they like. So I feel like we've done a great job of that as well. Specifically, can you talk about Brandon, what he's bringing to the team, and then Lynn also, kind of just individually each of them and what you're noticing? And how you th you saw Lynn in the ACC last, but just you know Brandon now in the ACC. Your thoughts on these two guys? Uh, Brandon's like a Swiss Army knife. Does it all? Shoot it, play defense, rebound, pass. So I feel like he just brings a a bit of like everything to the table. Um, he's just a, a great all-around player and just really, really poised, really, really smart, really high basketball IQ. So I feel like he'll he'll help us out a lot with his experience. And then Lynn is uh, one of the best bigs that I've play, been able to play with. His footwork, his touch. So I feel like it's just once he gets the ball down low, it's like it feels like it's an automatic bucket. And he does also a great job of. Um, doing what the coaches ask on the defense with the ball screens and getting back. So I feel like um, just them two really, really buying into what the coaches have asked of them has been great so far. And I know you've talked about it a number of times, just kind of stepping out more to the wing, but you were out there a little bit, you know, last year at times. But is there something with your game that you feel like you really worked on this offseason to? that you really wanted to kind of tighten up or, or be better at to, to have more opportunities or that you are going to have more opportunities out there in the wing? Uh, I would just say just being consistent. Um, I would say that's the main thing. Um, just coming to practice day in and day out with the right mindset of being consistent and being, bringing what it takes to the table every day. I feel like that's just the main thing. Can you talk about your routine a little bit, just kind of watching you, you know, come in early and kind of get shots up and kind of where that came from and what, how it works for you and what you like to do to be in a good routine for you know, get practices or games, whatever it might be. Um, yeah, I just like to be in the, the right mindset. Being mental is, is huge. So. The more shots you get up, the more you feel comfortable, and how you're feeling that day is is the biggest thing. So for me, that that easiest way to do that is just come early, self-talk, shoot shoot the ball, see how you're feeling. Um, so I would say that's the main thing, just mentally knowing yourself that day. And I feel like that's the, the easiest thing for me to just come get shots up, so I feel more confident. Paint touches. Coaches talk about paint touches, uh, dribble, kick, uh, off the shooters, or however you know paint. How is that kind of coming along? Uh, I know last year was talked about, but what have you noticed uh, preseason? Has it been a point of emphasis for you? Uh, yes, yeah, definitely been a, a big point of emphasis, and I feel like we're all we're all doing a great job of listening to the coaches and what they're asking, and I feel like. Um, we're doing it. We're doing it well. We can do it better, just with more more time and more experience at doing it. But I feel like we're doing a great job of of getting those paint touches, getting those kickouts, and really seeing the whole floor. Excited for the season. Another year for you, but just it's, it's right around the corner. Which is how excited I are for you this and and, and the schedule coming up. Uh, very excited. I think we have all the pieces to to be very successful um, in the ACC and nationally. So um, I just been very excited. What's what's the transition been like for you coming to Miami? Why did you come to Miami first of all? Why did you pick this school, and uh, how is it similar or different from what you anticipated? I picked Miami because of honestly, Coach L. Mm -hmm. His uh, resume speaks for itself. Seven hundred wins. Um, I know that Miami has a winning culture. Last year was a setback. Um, did you watch them during the Final Four run? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. um, I came here because I, I saw that Nigel was staying, Matthew was staying. I seen uh, Lynn Kidd, 
transfer here, so I feel like I would piece in with them well. What, what do you notice from the team uh, preseason practice? What's kind of standing yeah, out to you? Where they you guys are playing um, <laughs> I've noticed that we're all we all mesh well, so there's not really too many problems on the court or off the court. I noticed that we're a really good offensive team. Uh, we mesh well on defense as well. Um, I just think. I think we're a fast-paced team, and I think it's going to be fun to watch. Let's stay offensively, kind of that top group, yourself and Lynn and Matt when he's in there, and Nigel Jalen. What do you see and what stands out to you with the things? You guys all have different skill sets, just uh, offensively. What do you think of that group? Uh, I think there's no – we all know that we won't have the same role every night. So one person will be on one game or two people might be on. Uh, we just have to – do something else other than score. So whether that's passing the ball, set of screens, I think there's no jealousy. Um, and I think we all understand that, and I think that's going to be good for us as well. And with that, you know, Coach, just kind of your game, able to do different things. How do you uh, stay efficient and still be productive? Like I said, maybe, if, for example, if there's a game or you're not getting shots, I can think of still being an efficient team player. And I'm just using that as an example of how it's going to happen. But how do you kind of make sure you're impacting the game? Yeah. Uh, finding ways, like, like I said, setting screens. Like, we're all the threat on offense. So if... Uh, the defense has to worry about me. I'll set a screen. Either I'll be open or my, whoever has the ball will be open. I know we can all score at a high level. So that's really fun. And, yeah. and then defensively, Coach mentioned, I want to see more transition there on that side. What, what do you know the center? What kind of needs to happen? So you guys are going to where you want to be. I think we just needed to uh, just focus on certain things like that we didn't talk about during the summer. Like, the hardest part as far as packing the paint, um, as far as like what other offenses are looking for, as long as the but I think as the season goes the on, we'll get better. Like What's kind of your prep work been? Yeah, I don't know. Just last season, do you have you been learning about the AC opponents? I know AC is a long ways away after that Clemson game. But do you kind of been studying opponents? Is that something you like to do? Even even well in advance. For sure, I I pay attention to basketball throughout the country. So. You know, the team coming Not really to too much of the ACC uh, right now because I'm worried. I'm worried about the next practice, the next day. But as the time goes on, we'll be ready for them. You're looking looking forward to the season. I mean, it's finally you know, a few weeks, a couple weeks now. Uh, look forward to it. Kind of getting going there. For sure. Just growing up in ACC country. Right? Surreal. So it's going to be surreal to play against them, be in their uh, be in their arenas. Them coming to us. Yeah. Right Was there one of those schools that you paid like most attention to growing up? Uh, one of those programs in North Carolina? Uh, I feel pretty comfortable. Not really. I wasn't like too. Said, I didn't watch too much basketball so growing up, so probably not. Like but that's been my main priority. I just know that, and like catching that and it'll like be fun, and, and I know uh, this high level competition. Every that that and younger, and I try to like guide them the ways like the older guys guided me, and I just try to lead by example. So how's this team coming together for you guys? Um, great, man. Um, we really hang out a lot, like outside of basketball. We not we're not just like just here. Like we always hang out. Um, I really love the guys. Great teammates, great coaches. I, I love it. And how's that transla translating to the court? Uh, I think that's a, a big thing, especially if you want to make a deep run into the tournament. Um, just having a lot of really good chemistry. You really know your guys. Um, you just enjoy being around each other. I was talking to Nigel and. Um we talked about the Final Four, and mm -hmm. you know there are a few years obviously removed from that, but you know he he's been there. Um, he said he wants to take this team there. He 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 thinks that you guys have that type of potential based on the way practices have gone. Um, how do you feel about that? Oh yeah, I agree. Um, that's what I came here for. I came here to um, go all the way with it. Um, I'm confident in my guys. I'm confident in myself. Um, I think we can do it. Now your backcourt's a little smaller. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's going to put a little pressure on the bigs, I would think, to really show up on the boards. Yeah. Um, talk about that a little bit. Um, I mean, we are a little small at the top, but, like, you've you got it in your heart, man. You can do it, man. This is, this is a hard rebound and stuff like that. You just, who wants it more? I think we have guys that really want it. We have a lot of guys in our last year, um, and I think we're going to get it done. I know we're going to get it done. Talk about the heart aspect of it. Yeah. Watching you play, 
it shines through. Mm -hmm. um, you see how much heart you have. Where'd that come from? Um, I just, I mean, you want, as your career is winding down, it's kind of like you want to go pro or not. Um, you kind of like, I say, desperate. And um, I think it shows in the court. I, I want it more than another guy, and I'm going I'm to continue to do that. Then, so. What's been kind of the key for your, your efficiency? Um, and I know a lot of it, you know, does come close, but not everybody's shooting those percentage numbers and, and things like that. What do you feel has been um, helpful or the key to your success? Um, I work out every morning, the same routine shots. I've been doing it for like two years. Like the same the shots I shoot in the game, I work on every day. Um, I think that kind of like helps me just have the confidence to be able to know I can make those shots in the, in the game. Like, it's just like, it's just like clockwork. I mean, I've, I've done it a million times. I'm confident in it. And left or right? I yeah. Mean, and how important is that for a big to be able to go off either shoulder? Um, I think it's important. As a big, like guarding other bigs, I think it's like a dude that can go both ways. I think it's really hard to deal with. And so I continue to just work on both. So I, I, don't, I don't have a preference. I go either way. I want to piggyback off that on the efficiency. I mean, you say you practice a lot, but a lot of guys practice a lot mm -hmm. and practice their shot. What is it about you? Why do you think you are able to shoot 11 out of 12, 12 out of 13? I mean, you were like number one, I think, in the ACC in efficiency. Mm -hmm. What? What is it? Is it a special gift you have, or is it really something that you are doing specific that other guys are not doing, maybe? Um, I mean, I'm blessed, obviously. I'm blessed to be here. Like, I, I'm a 6'10", like, not a lot of people that big and stuff like that. Um, but I do put a lot of work in the morning. Just like, I think it's important to work on game shots at game speed. And um, I think that's what I work on every morning. I mean, I've been doing it for so long. This is my fifth year. And just like, once I got a routine, you stick with it, and it works, I mean, I'm just going to keep going with it. Uh, Coach L was talking about how you know there's so many older guys on this team, veteran guys, and, and he's had really good success with veteran players and older teams. Even though you're all new, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 12 new players, you all bring a combined years of experiences a lot. Yeah. Can you just talk about that? How is that manifesting itself on the court when you have all these guys who are 22 and 23 years old, even though you're together for the first time? Um, I think a lot of us have seen a lot of hoops. Um, we kind of know what we're looking at, and we understand like, oh, this is our last year. Like, we gotta it's make or break. Like, we, we this is our last chance at it. So, I think a lot of guys are desperate and they want to make a deep run into the tournament. And I think that's why I came here. That's that's what I came to do. Last chance.